if the ordinary soldier finds this his story, then, then I'm happy. This is war. I just recently got a, a note from a West Point classmate who said, Harry, you have done an awful lot to keep this forgotten war no longer forgotten. And, and, I, and I appreciate that. War is, 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 is not only hell, you have to, it's more explicit than talking about if and what and should. We were saying this is what they had, this is what they look like, mm -hmm. and that to me was the story <clears throat> of how bad it was. And well, the advantage we have in this book is that it's easy to read. Mm -hmm. It's factual, it's pictorial, and it's easy to read as opposed to uh, picking up a dull, boring thing with no pictures or nothing. That's right. The Big Picture is a report to you from your army, an army committed by you, the people of the United States, to stop communist aggression wherever it may strike. The Big Picture traces the course of events in the Korean campaign through first-hand reports of our combat veterans and through film taken by combat cameramen of the Army Signal Corps. These are the men who daily record on film the big picture as it happens, where it happens. This is war. The problem with the photographs was to find them with the right captions and the right units. So what you had there, they would say 10th Corps or 2nd Division, but then they would, maybe they meant uh, regiment, or maybe they meant, uh, in other words, so mm -hmm. they intermingled these kinds of things. The pictures were not hard. What was hard was to, to put them yeah. in proper yeah. categories. And, and a lot of the captions that were on the ones that they came from the War Department or, or from the Department of Defense, the captions were wrong. So uh, I was just lucky, I think, that I was able to spot many of those where it had the wrong general identified. Or, uh, they would say, they would say in the pictures, uh, this is a Korean, the North Korean division, it was a Chinese division. Yes, yes. You know, or if it was a rock division, no, it was really North Koreans, not rocks. Yeah, that's right. And, and, and the, uh, many times we'd, you'd see this and you thought, well, there's some clerk way back where, when, who was labeling that right. photo who really didn't know. And I'm, I'm glad it was somebody that, I'm glad that I was in the but position to be able to your see it. You knew a lot of times people don't. We'd have had wrong stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I was. I debated. Was it proper to sneak a couple of my own personal pictures in there? And you said, "There's nothing wrong with that." No, there's nothing yeah. wrong with putting you. You were there. I think yeah. it gave us credibility yeah. as to someone writing about something that had no perspective mm -hmm. to it. And that's no. that's that yeah. that you had a historian, you had good pictures, and you had somebody who was there and understood what happened and also how to write it and did embellish the cause, like many of us do. Uh, uh, we got to prove this and we got to, we don't prove anything. We just try to tell the story. If the people think of it as a scrapbook that they want to look at and, and, and enjoy, that's all that's the better. A, a scrapbook is a memoir. Mm -hmm. And in a way, a scrapbook is better than others because it's not fake. Well, that's right. <laughs> it's not yeah, fake. Yeah. And you've, got, you've got this yeah. thing. You're not adding and subtracting. Well, you're, that's right. You know, it reminded me of a quote of uh, Matthew Ridgway when he said, uh, when he launched Operation Killer, and there got some bad press back in the States saying, isn't that awful? That's going to shock people that we're sending American boys on Operation Killer. And Ridgway said, well, I think that's a pretty darn good idea to, to let people know what this is all about. This is war. War and its masses. War and its men. War and its machines. Together they form the big picture. When you were there, did you the intelligence, was it that bad? Did we not know that Chinese communists were in there when you were, I, I don't we, understand that. We, we really did not. And, and even when, we, when the front line troop detected them, uh, they weren't believed. Uh, the, the first person that I knew, or, that I know, now know from personal experience who encountered Chinese, uh, sent this report back and said, well, these are just some agrarian farmers trying to protect their property. <laughs> What was the impact over there of MacArthur leaving to the troops? Now, not, I'm well, talking about the politics, the troops. 
I think we were, we were all stunned, and uh, some of the senior officers were really shattered. Uh, now, back in Tokyo, it was really devastating. Now, on the front line, we were shocked. We still had a lot of confidence in MacArthur, and uh, we're not ready to write him off, even though we had, <laughs> we had been, uh, uh, we'd gone through an awful lot because of his, his blunders. This is war. Because it is a forgotten war. And what bugs me about the war more than anything is that the same generation, the, the greatest generation, fights this war. It's only four years difference or five years difference, so how could they be, you know, yes. that great? You'll see our soldiers battling winter cold as well as communists. You'll see how we save thousands of lives by the quick evacuation of our wounded by helicopter. And you'll see a display of weapons, the finest weapons in the world, the weapons of your United States Army. What we were wanting to do was to get something that was accurate, that was pretty complete for being all that short, and at the same time that would be a good read. This is war. Well, Goldie, on the whole... I enjoyed doing it with I, you. I, I, did, I did too. Thanks a lot.